Father and son led the team out, manager Graham Turner making St Andrew mascot. More than 40,000 there from Wolverhampton. Gary Bellamy from a free kick almost gave them an early lead. Then from the corner, Steve Ball turned goal maker. Onto striking partner Andy Much and a shot beyond everyone's reach, 1-0. The crowd ecstatic, but into the second half came disaster. Skipper Ali Robertson had to leave the field injured. So relief when Robbie Dennison floated in his free kick, 2-0. But Burnley weren't finished. Paul Comstive's header was too close for comfort. But at the end of the one they call the friendly final, the trophy was Wolves. Ali Robertson limped up for the presentation. From the terraces, they sang Wolves Are Back. And in the dressing room, too, the celebrations were just beginning. When you look back, it's been a fantastic whole day for Wolverhampton Wanderers. You know, second half, we had to shuffle a few uh, players about. But in the end, we've been the better side, and we've won convincingly. In the end, I think we could have won three or four. Marvellous scenes out there. The crowd were incredible. So colourful, so noisy. Um, you know, didn't think we could produce that many supporters on, on one occasion. And um, Pleased for the players. They've, they've worked ever so hard. And, you know, it's one of those periods in your life you've got to remember. Going off, disappointing, of course, but uh, I think it makes amends when you've got to walk up the stairs and uh, pick up that cup. Fantastic. Back in Wolverhampton, the players braved the afternoon rain to show off the trophy again. The bus struggling to squeeze past the huge crowds turning out to salute the champions.